All right, so you need to use Visual Studio Code. Um, these are down, uh, I can give you links to download this. Uh, you're also going to have to download another program called Node.js. Um, you're going to need a, a you need a folder with all your layers. Uh, backgrounds need to be in. Um, actually, I'm going to delete this. Delete this. Uh, you can have multiple backgrounds. Um, the under slash R it means rare. You can do um, super rare uh, under slash SR. Um, and then that'll be my uh, base layer. Uh, and then my T-shirts I'm using are different colors. Um, I made the green one uh, under slash rare. Um, and then uh, logo, I have my different logos that are going to be populated on top of the t-shirts. Um, so each one of these is going to be a layer. Uh, background will be obviously the background, then we'll go t-shirt, then we'll go logo. So those are all housed in this folder here, which is this simple NFT template. Um, now this is a brief overview. I will definitely go more into the details of this. Um, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to open Visual Studio Code. Um, and we're going to do a, um, we're going to open, let's close this out. All right, let's X this out. All right, so um, in this, we need to go to, um, we can update our uh, layers. So our layers background, and there's five files. T-shirt is the second layer, and there's six files. And logo is the third layer, and there's five files. This is our format. We're going to do about 1,000 by 1,000. These are our rarity values, rare and super rare. And I want to make 20 different variations. So what it's going to do is going to populate a random background with a random t-shirt and a random logo. Uh, and I'm going to have 20 variations that it's going to print out. So um, we need to be in config.js. And then we're going to open a terminal. We're going to go new terminal. Um, from new terminal, we're going to type in npm install. And again, I will have a more thorough step-by-step -step for all of this. Uh, and you can create your own. All right, npm install. Um, that's going to take a few moments. And once that is up to date, do -do -do. this is a couple-step process here. It is basically doing something. I don't know what it's doing, but doing something this is all right now I'm gonna go npm install for us uh, dash G truffle all right and that is actually going to be generating all the random variations um, this takes a, f a little bit longer, um, and the uh, the truffle is uh, basically how you're packaging the items to work on the Ethereum network, or it's uh, basically truffle is a development environment for Ethereum. So it's going to be going through that. That's going to take a moment. I'm going to pause now until that's done. All right, so we are back. That is all done. Um, so now we're going to put in the next command is npm install. Wait, did I already do that one? I did gtruffle? Yeah, I already did gtruffle. Okay. Um, so now we're going to save. Hmm. All right, that is saved. And then, where's my next step? My next step is, all right, let's see. We're going to go to, ch -ch -ch -ch. Um, where did my index.js go? I forgot to do that step. Index. Oh, here we go. Yes, so we saved, and then we're going to go node index.js. 
enter. All right, now it's creating all 20 of the NFTs. And it's basically, again, taking random backgrounds, putting them on random t-shirts, and adding random logos. Oh, it made a duplicate creation. Interesting. All right, so that is now created. So we're going to go to the build folder, and there they are. All right, so these are all of my randomly generated NFTs. So as you can see, each one has a different background, different color shirt, and a different logo. <laughs> Ooh, that's a rare one. The smiley face is rare. So that's cool. So yeah, that is how you generate random. Ooh, that's a back that's a rare background. Neato. So each one of these uh, are one of a kind. Uh, never been created before. And uh, we uh, I'll, I'll do a video on how to more specifically do this process and then how to um, put them on the OpenSea market so you can start selling them. So that is, uh, that's how you uh, build NFTs. Uh, that, that took me uh, quite a few hours of learning. Um, so I can walk you through all that and give you all the download files or download um, uh, programs to do that. So hope you enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, talk to you soon.